In this tutorial, you'll learn how to use simple conditional logic to give personalized advice. A quiz can act as a professional shopping assistant. It can react to the answers given by the customer and provide valuable feedback. All it takes is a bit of logic. In this skincare quiz, there are four blocks of text. Each describes in more detail what a skin type needs in terms of skincare. With the product recommendation quiz, you can show customers with dry skin certain questions specifically targeted for them, while customers with oily skin would skip these questions. This can be done in many ways within the app. In this video, we'll teach you how to show these texts using jump logic, skip logic, or block logic on the results page. Let's start with jump logic. To display text advice in the quiz, you'll need a statement question. Make it longer by adding a description. One statement will be needed for each type of skin advice. Now, how can we make only one block appear instead of all of them, one after the other? We can use jump logic. Open the Conditional Logic tab and select a question. Let's add the first jump logic condition. If the answer to, how does your skin feel on an average day, is dry and tight all over, then dry skin advice should appear. Click on the plus sign to add another statement that can be true. This creates an additional OR conditional statement. If the answer to, how does your skin feel on an average day, is oily all over, then oily skin advice should appear. The OR separator between conditions means that only one of these has to be true for the logic to work. Let's add conditions for the combination and normal skin. To ensure the customer doesn't see all four statements, additional jump logic should be added to each of them. Click on a statement. In the Always Jump To section, indicate the question or a page that should precede it. Do the same for the other three statements. Now that all is set, let's publish the quiz and test it. First, select Dry Skin. Now, let's go back and select Oily Skin. It seems that everything works correctly. Well done! You've successfully added jump logic to your quiz. Your customers will now be able to see this personalized advice whenever they take the quiz. Jump logic is a powerful tool. It can also be used to redirect the customer to another external URL directly from the quiz, create branching in the quiz to send the customer to different answering paths, Create branching to link different products to the same choices. 
or send customers to different result pages. For linear quizzes, using skip logic instead is recommended. To achieve the same effect, you can set up your statements to be shown one after another. Navigate to the Conditional Logic tab. Select a question and open the Skip Logic menu. Then, add a skip logic rule to each statement. For example, when selecting a dry skin statement, the rule states, if the answer to question, how does your skin feel on an average day is not dry and tight all over, then this question is skipped. This implies that the dry skin statement will not be skipped only if the answer to that question is dry and tight all over. In all other cases, the statement will not be shown. Similar rules shall be applied to the statements about the oily, combination, and normal skin. Once all is set up, Make sure to publish the changes. Let's test the quiz. It worked! The correct statement is shown and all the others are skipped based on the skin type the customer selected in the previous question. Skip logic can also be used to show or hide a number of follow-up questions, show or hide follow-up content based on questions that allow multiple answers, Logic can also be applied to the contents of your results page. With block logic, you can show or hide elements of your results page based on the customer answers. Let's add four content blocks with the skin type advice. You can edit the block text with markdown language, like this. Now, how can we make only one block appear instead of all of them? We can add block logic. To do that, activate it in the lower right corner. Let's add the first logic condition. If the answer to, how does your skin feel on an average day, is dry and tight all over, then this block, dry skin block, will be visible. In all other cases, it will be hidden.
Now, let's add similar rules to other content blocks. Let's publish the changes and test the quiz again. You've now successfully used block logic to show and hide content on the results page. Block logic is a powerful tool that can also be used to show different image results depending on customer answers or show product blocks with different numbers of recommendations. Congratulations! You've learned how to use simple logic to show personalized advice to your customers. Check out our FAQ section for more resources on getting started with recommendation quizzes.